What's going on, Sneaker Life fam? It's your boy, Jay Just. Hope each and every one of you guys is having a safe and blessed day. So, yeah, as we all know, every month has its ups and downs when it comes to releases. Now, specifically today, we are going to be talking about April 2023 releases. So, first up, releasing next Saturday. We have the Air Jordan 11 Cement Grays. Now, these will be released on April 1st for a retail price of $190. And these will be coming in grade school, men's sizing, preschool, and toddler sizing. So, you know, basically the whole full family sizing. Now, first impressions, this is a cool colorway. And y'all know... It's my favorite silhouette when it comes to Jordan 11s. Now, you know, I know may, most people, you know, might not rock with 11 lows. But, I mean, you know, seeing how this is a good shoe to start spring off with, I definitely do rock with these. And I rock with the colorway. I mean, I've even, you know, seen some comments where people were saying put these as a high. But, personally, I feel like if you took an L on the Air Jordan 11 Cool Grays or even a couple years ago, the Air Jordan 11 Cool Gray Lows, then this would be, you know, a shoe that, you know, is kind of reminiscent to that theme, you know, just with a few different hints. But nonetheless, this is definitely, you know, the Air Jordan 11 Cool Gray Lows and similar to the Air Jordan 11 Cool Grays, you know, but this is definitely a cool colorway. Again, these will be releasing on April 1st for a retail price of $190 dollars guys following up to that five days after we have the air jordan 3 lucky greens now these will be releasing april 6 for a retail price of 200 dollars and this will be coming in women's sizes now you know to be honest i know jordan brand likes to hit us with a lot of air jordan 3s you know in some colorways and we've seen this lucky green on you know the air jordan 2 lucky greens we even have a lucky green colorway later on in this video that i'm going to talk about but you know as far as it comes to these i feel like these aren't necessary as far as to have in the collection seeing how this year i am trying to strictly go for ogs and i'm sliding in some of that space for a few grs that i feel i may need but these right here i don't feel like this is a necessary cop but nonetheless it's a cool colorway and i feel like this is a shoe that personally should have dropped you know back in march just for the simple fact even though we're still in march i feel like it should have dropped this year just for the simple fact that it was saint patrick's month you know and nonetheless it just has that whole you know theme to it but these will have some sale hints you know on the mid so you know definitely a cool colorway for the jordan 3 it's just you know a necessary one not a necessary one that i feel that i need to have in the collection but then again these will be releasing april 6th for a retail price of 200 dollars guys next up you drop in on april 8th we have the air jordan 2 low easters now funny thing about these is this will not be coming as a women's it will be coming in men's sizing you know and i mean it definitely you know seeing how in the month of april that is easter time this is definitely giving me like easter vibes spring vibes you know and to be honest i'm not just too fond of this colorway you know don't get me wrong i like air jordan 2 lows you know if it was a chicago or maybe like you know a some sort of colorway that i rock with i definitely you know would prefer these but nonetheless you know i just i'm not too fond of the colorway don't get me wrong it's a clean colorway definitely screams spring vibes you know what i'm saying but nonetheless you know if y'all rock with these man salute the y'all because i know a lot of people might try to get their hands on these but nonetheless these will be releasing april 8th for a retail price of 150 Dollars. Coming in next, we got the Air Jordan 1, Air Jordan 1 High OG Lucky Greens. Now, these are expected to release April 15th for a retail price of $180, and these will be releasing in full family sizing. Now, as y'all know, this is supposed to be reminiscent to the Celtics DMP Air Jordan 1s that dropped back in 2009. Now, low key, I definitely do like these and you know for the most part this is kind of like that 
you know, black toe color blocking, you know, but nonetheless, I really wish that Jordan brand would have kept these as close to the DMPs as possible. Cause as you guys can see right here, we have two different, you know, images of the Air Jordan 1 DMPs and the Air Jordan 1 Lucky Greens. And, you know, you definitely can see two different shades of green on the DMPs. You have more of a darker green. And on the Lucky Greens, you have more of like that lighter Lucky Green, you know, St. Patrick's Day colorway, which is another shoe that I feel should have dropped in the month of March, you know, seeing how it was St. Patrick's Day. But we'll be releasing full family sizing on April 15th for a retail price of $180. Now, next up, we got the Air Jordan 13 Black Flints, which is expected to drop April 22nd and full family sizing for a retail price of $200. Now, as y'all know, this is definitely reminiscent of the Air Jordan 13 Flints. Now, we've seen two years ago, we got the red Flints, and we're seeing now that we got the black Flints. Now, I'm cool, you know, with as far as this Flint colorway, but I just don't want Jordan Brand to run a whole theme as to where they put this flint colorway on every you know color blocking now we've seen red and we've seen black now i feel like jordan brand should just keep it you know at this black colorway and that's it and you know i've even seen a lot of people say that they prefer the black color colorway over the red colorway and some say they prefer the red colorway over the black colorway now you know i do have the red colorway if you guys do want to check that video out you know but nonetheless i definitely would like to have these in hand to give you guys a side-by-side -side comparison between these and the red flints i mean there's really not much of a difference only thing i would say is you know color comparison but nonetheless you know this is basically the air jordan 13 uh flints you know basically swapping out that true blue for that black the same way they did with the red flint so dropping the same day as the Air Jordan 13 Black Flints, we do have the Air Jordan 1 Wash Pink. Now, these will be a women's exclusive, and these will be releasing in preschool and toddler sizing as well. Now, this is definitely one on my list that's to cop because I definitely like this colorway a lot. And seeing how it is a women's exclusive, I definitely can see a lot of males actually trying to get their hands on these now i know we got the wash blacks you know that's expected to drop later on and to be honest i definitely am just feeling these way more than the wash blacks i just feel like the wash blacks kind of has like a ashy material and i'm not too fond of it you know but these right here just you know definitely got like some sale hints you know that atmosphere pink and i'm just definitely rocking with it you know the same you know and i know we've seen that you know washed um you know kind of material on some other air jordan ones such as the turbo greens and the hyper royals hopefully i'm saying it right you know but oh i believe it's the wash denims if i'm not mistaken but nonetheless i definitely do rock with these and this is one that's on your boys list of cop and these will be coming with that special packaging as well and retail on these will be 180 dollars next up you know and this one is definitely on most people's radar the air jordan one low sp women's travis scott you know and that olive colorway now i'm gonna be honest firsthand i want to say that this is probably one of the best colorways that the travis scott has produced like i want to say one of my first colorways would probably have to be the mocha lows and then i'm gonna have to go with these in my opinion i feel like this silhouette just took a different turn as far as you know not having that full mocha colorway and just going you know a whole different route and seeing how this is a women's exclusive you definitely can expect you know a lot of haitians to go on with this you know what i'm saying especially you know seeing how it's a travis scott you know the whole thing with the travis scott website you know it's just gonna take the whole sneaker community by a turn but these are expected to be releasing in women's sizing 
preschool sizing and toddler sizing. Now preschool uh, women sizing, these are going to run for $150, yeah, and man, I definitely do rock with these, and you know, I'm definitely going to try to go after these, but y'all know how it be when it come to that Travis Scott website, and I feel like just that Travis Scott website is just like, it's like an evolution for all of the Travis Scott releases, so you know, when that day comes, man, y'all already know what to expect for, you know, the Travis Scott Air Jordan 1, so you know. Nonetheless, you know, hopefully have your confidence that day that you are able to take a dub, you know, and I know they will have these on the sneakers app as well. So hopefully we able to take some dubs on that. Last day. up, we have the Air Jordan 3 Wizards PE set to drop April 29th for a retail price of $200. Now, as y'all know, and I've spoke about this shoe before, this is one of them shoes where i definitely feel like you know with jordan brand adding that pe name it's gonna have a lot of people going crazy because it's gonna have people feeling like they have an actual pe in the collection seeing how this is a shoe that michael jordan wore during that 2000 to 2001 era where he was playing with the washington wizards in which he wore a more modified version you know um, but nonetheless, I definitely could see, you know, these moving just, you know, as I mentioned for Jordan Brand throwing that PE name on there. So everybody might want to get their hands on these. But honestly, I personally feel like if you have the true blues, then you definitely don't need this shoe. That's just my take on it. You don't have to take my word for it. But if you have the true blue Air Jordan 3s, then, you know, you definitely just might not need these because this is definitely the Air Jordan 3 True Blues. Just a few different hints, you know, um, apart from the True Blues. But, you know, nonetheless, I definitely do rock with these. And, you know, I might try to get my hands on these. But, you know, as for right now, it's not seeming like the biggest release for me, you know, for the month of April. But nonetheless, I definitely do, you know, want to have these in the collection. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's not a big priority, but it is a priority to have these in the collection. Hopefully, I'm able to have the Air Jordan 11 Cement Gray review for you guys up next week. So make sure you guys are staying tuned. And with all that being said, like I always say, you got your boy Jay Just, you got the channel, you got what to expect for April 2023 releases. Comment down below to let your boy know which releases you will be going for. And, you know, if you want to become part of Sneaker Life Fan, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Make sure to smash that like button. Make sure to turn on post notifications like always. I love you guys so much. I appreciate you guys. Reach for the stars. Sky's the limit. And we out. <laughs>